Once again, welcome to tonight's matchup between the North Justin Sam Pierre Lady Blue Jays and your Culver Lady Cavaliers. At this time, let's see the starting lineup for tonight's game. First for the North Justin. Starting lineup first for the Blue Jays. Kylie Lee Hyde, the 5'10 junior, number 10. 5'4 freshman, number 11, Kaylin Tunis. 5'7 freshman, 15, Avery Johnson. 5'3 senior, number 24, Reagan Hensley. And a 5'6 junior, number 30, McKinley Dusek. Head coach, Whitney Combs, for the Cavaliers tonight. And now, the starting lineup for your Culver Lady Cavaliers. And guard, 5'5", five, five, junior, number 21, Maddie Hamilton. A 5'5", five, five, senior, number 10, Grace Sieber. A 5'7", sophomore, number 32, Brianna Schlemmer. A 5'6 freshman, number 40, Brooke Davis, and a 5'11 junior, 51, Amaya Williams. Cavaliers, Lighty Cavs are coached by Adam and A.J. Neese. There we are. Apologize for that difficulty. Nobody scored here in the first minute and 15 seconds of the ball game. Hamilton will control the ball. To Siebert. Dishes it off. Intercepted by the Lady Jays. That will be Lehigh with it. She'll turn it over out of bounds.
Turnover there by Culver. Oh, they're going to get over the block. And it'll be Siebers first. And that will send Avery Johnston to the line. She goes one for two. Two Schlemmer, stolen away by Johnston. She drives the lane, kicks, that's blocked. Inbound from Johnson to Hensley. Back to her in the corner, she drives the baseline. Tries to put something up, gets it back to Dunsick. Bounces around, finally rebounded by Le Lehigh. And she's going to draw a foul. That's going to be on Sieber, her second. So her first one's good. So two misses first shot and second shot are good. Lots of pressure here by North Judson. Off the foot, hits the line, out of bounds. Hensley Dunzig, Dunzig with a shot, no good. Rebounded by Brooke Davis. Ends up being a jump ball. Three to zero is your score. Gets it to Amaya Williams. She looks to, she's triple team. Looks to drive, kicks out. Hamilton over to Sieber. Sieber from the top of the key for three. No good. It's going to bat around, be rebounded by Hensley. She looks to drive it down the court. She does into the lane. Chucks one up, and it's good. And that'll be another turnover for Culver as she steps on the line. Tipped, Tunis with it, sidesteps. Amaya Williams looks to drive, drives baseline, gets the body call. Fans, if you haven't done so, follow our Facebook page, like and follow our new Facebook page created this week on Culver TV, or on Facebook, I should say. It's Culver TV, one word, dash Culver Community High School Broadcasting is the page. We've already posted some post-game interviews, things that we can't get to on the air, coaches that we can't talk to, so on and so forth. Those things will be there, along with real-time information about the game delays, things of that nature, announcements will all be available there for all Culver TV athletics. So that is football and both boys and girls basketball. As well as just general Culver information. So Culver TV all one word on Facebook. Make sure to like and follow that page. So loose ball, O'Brien ends up with it. 
Looks to get it to Hamilton. Tries to set things back up. Sieber drives in, kicks out to O'Brien. O'Brien down inside, and they're going to get the foul called. I think they're going to get the foul called on Dunsick. Dusick, sorry. Foul number three is included in McKinley Dusick, or first to team four. Davis to Williams. Up top to Sieber right away. Deeper three. Air ball, out of bounds, Judson ball. That's her third foul. Foul number 10 of the Cavaliers, Grace Bieber, her third. Let's see third. Number 32, Rihanna Slimmer, check back in for the Cavaliers. Johnston will bring it up. Over to Garbison. Stolen away, but turned back over by the Lady Cavs. She gets fouled pretty good there. Yep, late call, but the right call. So that's Davis's first. the hand of Johnston. Williams in the corner. Down inside to Davis. Davis kick out to O'Brien. In and out. Rebounded by Lehigh. She pushes it. Gets it to Tunis. Tunis gets hit in the face. No call. Off the hand of Hamilton and out of bounds. Johnston with it. Garbison drives, kicks, rebounded. By Culver, brought back up by Hamilton. Deep three for Schlemmer. No good, rebounded by Williams. She goes up, ball gets tipped away by Lehigh. She recovers it, pushes it down the court. Off of her foot, Davis gets on the ground after it. It'll be out of bounds and it'll be North Judson ball. Good hustle play there by Brooke Davis. Inbounded to Lehigh. Over to Garbison. To Lehigh on the corner. They're going to get Davis for another foul. Goodness gracious. Foul number 40 on the Cavaliers. Brooke Davis for second. This team's fifth. Blue Jays are now on the bonus. Kylie Lehigh at the line shooting two. Culver's got four girls on the bench that can play a quarter. And that's it. So no foul trouble can be afforded tonight. Turnover there bro, by O'Brien to Lehigh. She lays it in. And the Cavaliers will take a timeout, and so will we. We'll be right back. You're watching Culver TV. Welcome back here. Justin Croy, Tyler Siddell.
11-0 lead here for the Blue Jays. In the middle to Williams. Back to Hamilton. Loses control of it, picks it back up, gets it to O'Brien. She loses it. Lehigh with it, drives baseline, bounces off of Williams, steps around and puts it in. Davis with it. Contact was there. Let you be a judge of that one. Yikes. Rebounded by Hamilton. Williams brings it up the court quickly. Down to the post to Schlemmer. She looks to make a move with it, tries to step through, gets a good pass to Alexa O'Brien. No good, but finally rebounded. And there the Cavaliers get a call going their way. In the paint, that is. It gets the fouls are five to four. But Seems like we haven't been getting a lot called in the paint tonight. That, I believe, is our first, first call in the paint. 22.1 seconds to go. Lady Cavs trail 0 to 16. And Amaya Williams puts in the first points of the game. Good rebounded by Judson. Out of bounds, Cavalier ball. <laughs> Schlemmer picks it up after it's bounced around. Loses it, gains control again, steps up for a late second three and drains it. This timeout is being brought to you by the Indiana Army National Guard. For more information, call your local recruiter, Sergeant Patrick Dobson, at 574-261-2806. Army National Guard, live here, work here, serve here, and by the Culver Community Athletic Boosters, proud supporters of Cavalier Athletics. On the court for the Cavaliers. Viegas, Hamilton, Schlemmer, uh, O'Brien, and Williams. Williams with it. Schlemmer. Little pressure from Tunis. 
She steps back, throws one up off the front of the rim. O'Brien tried to grab it. She grabs that one. Gets it to Hamilton. Double dribble there. Three points have to be over. To the Judson fans complaining about over and back. She didn't have all three points over, so she can walk on each side of the line as much as she wants. The rules designed specifically for that purpose. Tunis puts one up. No good. Rebounded by Schlemmer. Three for a while from Schlemmer, no good. It was a good box out there. Who was that for Judson? That was Kaya Burkett. Good box out on O'Brien. Williams with it. Three off the front of the rim. Rebounded by Dusik to Tunis. That shot by Minix is no good. Garbison's kicked around, picked up by Dusik. She throws one up, gets her own rebound, ripped away by Schlemmer. Viegas ends up with it. Gets caught in the trap, and they're going to call the foul there on... Kayla Burkett. Foul number 52 of the Blue Jays. Great for second, 15 seconds. Number five, Grace Craig, checks in for the Blue Jays. Inside to Williams, she puts one up, gets fouled by Dusik. Is that her second? Foul it is. Sieber will come back in for Culver.
15 seconds. Avery Johnson checks back in for Blue Day. a body foul. Oh, they're going to call. Goodness gracious. He's a, these officials are <clears throat> phantom calls. Coach Nice is going to talk to him. He's going to require him to, to come over. I want to hear. I'm taking my headset off. I want to hear what the official has to say. Woo! That's a bad call. I didn't like the explanation either. Extended her arm. Got bodied the entire way down the court, but she extended her arm in a 16 to four game. All right, where's the push by Tunis there? Maya landed with the ball on the line, so it'll be Judson Ball. That one was rough. That probably should have been a foul on Culver there. Two left to go. Four to sixteen is your score. Sieber with it. Goes up. That one's good. Tunis Johnston. Madsen coming in the game for. North Judson. Late call. The right call. Called about five seconds late. Good play there. Rebounded by Williams. She'll get hung all over. And there he goes. He got one right. Good for him. Call the push. That foul is going to be on Grace Gregor. Crager, sorry. Grace Craig. Don't pick up your dribble, Maddie. Should be Culver Ball. Oh. Drives baseline, goes up with it, off side of the backboard. Comes up with her own rebound. Dusik for three, it's good. Culver's lack of depth. Catching up with him here. You got five girls on the floor that are that are pretty tired. Wouldn't be surprised if Coach Nice calls a timeout here soon just to just to get a little break. What? From where I was at, that it looked like it went off the hands of uh, Craig, but nobody else seemed to have that reaction. So it's a bad angle, probably. Get it inside to Lehigh. One is Culver's ball. Thirty to 
certainly do that. Check back in the blue day. Seaver drives, puts it up, rebounded. Contact there by Judson, no call. Official on the sideline has a call, but he's got, uh, okay, they, they don't need to talk about it. He's going to go ahead and call it. Hold's going to be on Dunsick. Oh, no, that's on Lehigh. Cavaliers in the bonus. Fourth foul there on Sieber. This is one of those situations where I mean, you just adjust to the way the officials are officiating. Yep, that's over and back. Or you can't hand the ball to the girl. Inbounds, then step out of bounds with it. Try to throw it back in. As I was saying, just one of those situations where you just adjust to how the, how the officials are calling the game. However, Culver doesn't have the, the bench to be able to do that. And Judson does. So, obviously, coming in strong there. Some of them, I mean, it's unlike Gray Sieber to end up with four fouls with two minutes to go in the, uh, in the first half. Judson has 13 players listed on their varsity roster, 12, 12, uh, <laughs> good kick there by Maya Williams. <laughs> uh, 12 girls on the floor, 13 listed on the roster. Culver has five girls on the floor, another five on the bench, and four of those five, three of those five on the bench play JV. This official isn't very good. We'll say it. He's been bad all night. It's only the first half. Just inconsistent. I mean, most most of the time, uh, that's what that's what uh, what gets you is adjusting to the game. Like I said earlier, Culver has the depth, but when you're just being that inconsistent, there's there's no hope. That doesn't excuse the fact that Culver has 20-plus turnovers here in the first half and things like that. Haley Parker will come in the game. Three 
is good by Tunis. Cal. Coach McEwen might be up here because Coach uh, Nice is hot. That's a that's a good hustle play by Brianna Schlemmer. Girl diving on the floor after the loose ball, get a get a body car, a push call. Uh, oh, what has happened to Indiana high school basketball? Sickening. We let we let it get like this. Six to 25 is your score. 19.7 seconds and a half that seems like it'll never end for the Lady Cavs. Puts that one in. by the Blue Jays, not a great half by the Cavaliers. Across the half court line over to O'Brien, down inside to, that is Davis, doesn't roll, rebounded by Lehigh. Ooh, body there on O'Brien. Hensley, Johnston, is her way through, over to Tunis, spin move, tosses one up, blocked by Amaya Williams. Out of bounds. Out of bounds off of, we're going to say that's off of Hamilton's knee. In comes Haley Parker. Stick to the line. Fouls on Maddie Hamilton. Reagan Hensley is the 
like the Blue Jays. Up and under play. Garbison. Dusick takes it. Probably got fouled by Davis there. And Coach Nice will take a timeout. This will be a full timeout. I'm trying to convince Tyler here, who in three years of working on Culver TV, to put the headset on. There's some form of entertainment for this game. Usually have color analyst. Foul there at the end of the play as she came down. Good dribble to get out of that by Williams. Ah, don't get caught in the corner. What? They're gonna get a foul on Minix. I don't know what she did there. First one's no good. Tadell, you sure you don't want to put the headset on? You're the first ever person. You can you can take over the broadcast if you want, buddy. Like you could you feel free. Uh oh, Zayner's coming up. Here, here he is. Mm -hmm. 
what's happening. How's it going? It's going, right? It's here. Jim looks great, doesn't it? I like the, uh, the, we got the basketballs now everywhere. Yeah, they're hung by the uh, wires, so I think it's a little tougher. So great job by our digital printing class, and this is Maverick's class. Grace back in, sitting with four fouls. Picked up three, I think, what, in the first two minutes? Yeah. Is that her first points? That's, nope, nope, that's nope. her first three. The second. Uh, this rail is just right at your eye line. It? it is. I did draw up a design to get like a like a countertop, like a the thing that comes out that we can put on here, this crossbar. Mm -hmm. Then all you got to do is put a concession stand up top here, and we got to mm, look like Argus. Thing. Yeah, well. <laughs> We got the, we can get the area over there, just cut a hole in the wall. Just cut a hole in the wall. Move the benches over there for a uh, cheer program. It's another miss at the free throw line. Appreciate that assistant coach. Assistant coach, it's exactly what it is. <laughs> yep. Weight room. Short. Gets her own rebound. Good trap. What, what do you call? Jump ball? I think, I think that's like what it, it yeah. Possession arrows pointed toward blue. That is Minix. Oh. Over and back. Probably got fouled there to get over and back. Yeah. It ripped in a little. Right? I don't think she was ever touching, though, did she? Oh, I thought she. Did she not have control of no, it? No, she didn't. Okay. I think she, under control. Oh, lost the handle. Schlemmer with the ball. Shot fake and gets it to Sieber. Parker. Ladies are back to back tomorrow. They're at South Bend Career Academy. So, a little Iron Man schedule here. Oof. Boys play Saturday here. You doing this game or that game Saturday? Nope. Saturday is James Croy's first birthday. So, dad is tap, taking the game off, tapping out. Only two games. You got the week. drinks on ice already? Or? Yes. Getting ready for a uh, big first day. I think there's eight party. people coming. Yeah. Invited 30, eight said they could come. But when you're born two days before Christmas and you got to have your party <laughs> the week before, that's what happens. So. You just beat that tax year there. That's yep, right. Exactly. I told Hannah, I said, I don't care if you want to have it now or not, as long as it's before the 31st. Haley Parker's seen quite a few minutes here. I think she's been a bright spot here early in the season, midway through. Gosh, how many games? We're midway through, aren't we? Yeah, we're at, uh, this is the 10th game. I oh, know, sorry. The 12th game for Lady yeah. Cavs as Burkett makes Burkett that one. 39 to 9. Shimmer's going to fire it. It's good. Got it. And her second three. It is. Ooh. Maya got away with one there. Probably her, would have picked up her fifth, so I appreciate that. Alexa O'Brien checking in. Brooke will have a seat. Alexa O'Brien checks in for the Cavaliers. Good crowd on hand tonight, really. Or Chutson showed up. 6.30 JV star. That uh, makes it past my bedtime, Mr. Croy. I was just going to say, you're the head cheerleading coach said that 
Do you like the 6.30 start? 8.30 is Jimmy's bedtime, so. He's going to be wired. It'll be more like 2 a.m. You get him off that schedule. Yeah. Got to celebrate being zero for a while. It looks good. Oh, just short. short. Oh. Fourth quarter. Coming up. We're back. Got some uh, athletics here this week still. Got uh, tomorrow night, obviously. I think we just mentioned that. The girls will travel to South Bank Career Academy on Saturday. The uh, boys will be home for a noon start. We'll have a JV half followed by the varsity game. And then um, the wrestlers are in action on Saturday as well. They, they are over at the uh, John McKee Invitational at Rochester. Um, six, I think it's a 16-team tournament, or it has been in the past. Uh, really nice tournament right there before really hit Christmas break. They will be in action next week, though. I, I know Christmas falls on a Monday, so it's kind of weird. I know some schools, talking with Pioneers AD, they are actually out. Tomorrow's their last day, and then they go two weeks. We actually go all of next week, and then we're out two weeks. So it uh, kind of falls at a weird time, weird angle, where we actually will have some athletic events next week as well. I think wrestling's traveling um, to North Judson, actually. I think it's supposed to be a three-way. haven't got the other team yet, but uh, looking at adding a team there. Wrestlers were in action Wednesday night, last night. Uh, girls picked up a couple wins. Had a, Ariana Vela, she had a dominating win, along with uh, Lily Kuykendall. She had her first career win, so... Those girls have been working hard. Did you see the, there was a post, I don't know what school it was at, but it was, uh, we were down was it there. Sanction Girls Wrestling, that picture? Mm -hmm. Were our girls in the picture? Yeah, I was looking for I couldn't see them. They were. That over, I think, 400 girls there. So it was pretty. All signs are pointing to girls wrestling will be a sanctioned IHSA sport next year. Maya with the second free throw good. I think the only thing that would be stopping the IHSA would be numbers, right? Just there's, there's yeah, I enough. mean, there's a process um, between that and men's volleyball. I think those are the emerging sports is what they call it. Yeah. Um, but really, I think they look at we have traveling on Schlemmer. I think they she look at she um, too. The, the, the Coaches Association did a great job with the girls wrestling, and they've really done a nice job with their proposal. And you know, it's less work for the IHSA, so they go look at what they have. They did a nice job with it. They've been running regionals. They've been running semi-states and states, and um, so they'll continue to do that. And I think kind of take the map, basically the blueprint from what the Coaches Association did, and then continue with a, an IHSA tournament next year. Good. Speaking of wrestling, the uh, state tournament has always been held at uh, its Greenbridge Fieldhouse now, but this year it's going to be changed because of the Pacers hosting the All-Star game that weekend, so they're actually going to be in Evansville. Ooh. Yeah, so I don't, little, I don't like that from, just because uh, it's a hall. <laughs> little hall. Little why hall would you not like Why would you not do it at uh, the uh, – well, one, you could do it at the State Fair in that arena if they, you get a floor. Two, uh, the uh, – Lucas Oil Stadium. They do. They had a volleyball well, I, game there, I, I think. Do they yeah. have things going on too with the All Star game? I, I don't know. I mean, this, I'm that's sure March, there are a lot right? of activities. Or end of February. End of February. Yeah, so they shouldn't. There should be no football at the end of February. No, I was talking like even for the All Star game, how much? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They have a ton of activities. Probably no, uh, no hotel rooms. No. Yeah. I don't know. I know they explored a lot of options there. Maya, nice look. Back up. Going to get a foul on number five. If I was the IHSA, I'd be mad about that, saying we, we do every every event down it, here, and then all you, of a sudden you kick us been, out. If you've never been to a wrestling state finals, it's a uh, it's a special thing. It's it's really neat to be a part of. It's a marathon. It's like give you goosebumps just thinking about it. Three days of. Uh, uh, two nights. Two, two night, days. Two days. So, uh, so but it is Friday, all day from like early in the morning till late at night. One of the it's really pretty neat. Ever get a chance? Go down. Did you go I, down with Herf? Yep. Yep. Went down with Herf and Hardy. Got uh, 
pulled some strings with the Culver Citizen, got a press pass to uh, write a little article. So covered that for the Citizen. Been on press row before there with uh, Mr. Chad Hombo. Let's say IndianaMatt.com. Good seats, good seats. Hospitality room. That was the best part. Good block there. Ooh, good save. That's Eddie Garbison with the save. Four. And she Sutter. Had, she had a nice JV. She had a nice job in the JV game, too. So. Grace goes the line. First one, a little long. Second one's good. Swim team's in action next week, too. They're, uh, they're going to be in action Monday, and then we're hosting a meet, not at Lake Max. It's going to be at the Susan Bardwell Center in Plymouth. You uh, know where that's at? You know where Hacienda's at? Oh, yeah, right off of, right off of 30 there yeah. by the Life Plex. Right across yep. the street from the Life Plex. I share that Lifeplex, Pioneer yeah. Drive. So it'll be in action Tuesday night. We will have actually North Judson to be there and Oregon Davis. So girls have been working hard. Alexa for two. Good. The Croy family have any big plans over break? Uh, well, it's always our anniversary. So we got married on New Year's Eve. So I got told today that somebody wants to go to Ruth's Chris Steakhouse. Ooh. So I've been there one time when I was a junior in high school. I, you know what scared me? Returned half her Christmas presents and <laughs> said, well, okay, we can go. You know what scared me is when uh, I looked at the menu and there was no prices. <laughs> yeah, that would that would do it. I don't know if it's still like that. I tried to go take my wife there one time, and I think it was closed or something. It was during the day. Was Thanks like, for the kinda, Maybe up. they have lunch specials, right? There you go. There you go, Mr. Croy. Go, go, go at like noon and get lunch specials. <laughs> well, you said you wanted to go out to eat. <laughs> it's noon. Happy anniversary. I've, I've wanted to. Uh, maybe we'll get ice cream later. I wanted to try. The local DQ. St. Elmo's. I have not been to St. Elmo's yet, which I know is a yeah, I've heard Indiana a lot institution. Of good things. And I think that's another place that doesn't have prices on their menu. Good passing there by the Blue Jays. Number three with the basket. Yeah, the roster, so I apologize. Anna Garbison. When did we get the uh, when did we get the floor mops? I picked those up last week. Didn't pick them up. They were on order for three weeks, but. I got to use them in the last game. Did you yeah, see that? Yeah, we yeah. zoomed in on you. Yeah. That is zoom, That's just a good shot. Of you and the mop. That was specifically viewers, what we were. Viewers probably appreciated that. I, I liked it. I, I thought they looked good. I didn't realize there were two of them until I. Tyler's going to get Doc paid for that, for zooming in on me. <laughs> May have you been. didn't really have to zoom in. You well, I specifically told him. I said, get a shot of that mop. Yep. I've never got more excited about a mop in my life. I think Rusty's using that one down there. Trying to stay awake in there, just holding up on the pole there. Rusty Nixon in the house. Got all kinds of media here. Where's Val at? I don't know. No Val tonight. Brian Hanna's going to get him the stuff. Mai's done a nice job on the boards tonight. They have baseball practice today, I see. Yep. A little throwing session. Mr. Lowry said they had eight there. Went in the middle school. Told him I didn't want you to put them behind you. Is that uh, is that job still is that still a posted job online or 
yep. the athletic department found a varsity basketball coach. We have some interest. We'll have some interviews here soon. And number 10 checking in. Lehigh, Keely Lehigh. So, I have a proposal idea for you. Uh oh. An official HNAC photography company, like a company that goes to takes pictures of each head to head matchup. And we have. First one's no good for mine. HNAC? It's like an HNAC uh, that gets shared with all the schools or some sort of drive. Like a file? Yeah. Like we got a website. Did or you know get, they get posted there. Yeah, yeah. Could. LaVille runs that website right now. We're looking for somebody to run that. Could be a paid position. Ooh. I wonder if it's like a, a communications guy that could. I'll put in a good word. We did some work together on the uh, IFCA website, right? During your time as president, we, we were talking uh, with the guy. We, we set up some information and things on the Google Forms and voting mm -hmm. and the IFCA stuff. Cup meetings next week. First yeah, one's next, good for Grace. Next Wednesday. Eighteen best eighteen dollar buffet you'll ever get in your life. Shooter? No. Nope. I asked uh, asked Coach Faust. I said, "When's the meeting?" And he told me, "I said, can I go with you?" You don't get Nelsons much in the uh, winter time. You know, I. Coach Kling and I were just talking about that yesterday, I think. Um, I don't feel like I saw a lot of them out. Like, usually you go drive by a, you know, a park and shop parking lot or a church on a Saturday. Just didn't see a ton of Nelsons this year. Right. I th and I, I really don't know. I'm, I'm Nelsons is one of my, like, top favorites just in general. But there's been, like, a... Uh, like the missions fundraiser, mm -hmm. and I don't I don't necessarily know exactly what like group or church it's going to, but there's like Knox had one, Rochester had one, and all different days, but all for the same group, and I think that was like a huge part of why we saw so much of them for so long. My wife and I actually one day drove over to the Knox Save a Lot because their Nelsons was there. Then we drove just on a drive, ended up in. Rochester. It was like, hey, there's Nelsons again. So we got some more, and it was for the same group. It was for the, the two two groups were the same fundraiser. Didn't get enough pit potatoes, so I had to get some more. No, I think we only got like one. You don't get those early, though. They dry out. Oh, yeah. You got to get a lot of butter, ketchup, or something. Giselle battling. I enjoyed that fundraiser. Oh, that was a, oh. I'll sell porta pit chicken all day to Help Cavalier football. Okay, just rid, just get rid of the rest of that in my freezer. I was going to say we did have. Out, yeah. I think that no part of that. And you got to you got to sell so many to actually get the you know a profit on that. That's not as easy as what you think. Part of that uh, of me wanting to do that job is contingent upon me receiving an entire styrofoam cooler filled with porta pit chicken after I'm done. Ivan Torres Escobar is checking in for the Cavs. Looks like Brooke will have a seat. Giselle hit rim that time. See her foot speed, pretty impressive. She's a she is the RTC Soccer Player of the Year. If you realize that, did you see that article? I did. Good article by Val. Named uh, Giselle the. And I think she was, what, second in the state, according to Max Preps. And uh, she was in a certain amount in the country, though. So Jack Rogers right now is, like, 25th in the state in offensive average. Nice. Cavalier What's boys. he averaging? 22.2 points a game. Just had a nice, had a nice uh, what, do you, what do you end up with at one amount? Um, 20, 24. Again, 19 versus Knox, if I'm not mistaken. Get to sit in and watch practice today, boys. Nice, intense, shorter practice with this game going on tonight, but uh, did a nice job. Coach needed an extra uh, passer, so. 
I uh, better break out the old eighth grade passing. So my third hour was talking today. I actually, I actually uh, played one one game or one practice. My senior year with Mr. Barrett, he's my coach. Decided I should probably wrestle. <laughs> <laughs> Stick to wrestling. Um, the my third hour is talking today, and they were drafting. It was it was three students. They wanted to draft all time like. Uh, this is staff for football game. Seven man football. You got to you got seven staff members to play seven seven man football. Had couldn't like coaches lay coaches didn't count. Gotcha. So it had to be people that work in the building. Who would you draft? And the number one overall draft pick was Kyle Evans. See that? Followed by. Kyle Kling. Kyle Kling. Then Mike Sainer. <laughs> and speaking of drafting, shout out, congratulations to Marcellus Anderson. 2018, class of 2018, declared for the NFL draft yesterday. I saw the uh, Jack said. Uh, we got there. Um, Jack Kaiser's going to go back to Notre Dame as well. Is he? Yeah. Does he have another uh, year? Yeah. So I think he had a COVID year, but then he also had That'll another. He had an injury maybe freshman year. Or he had a red he, yeah, did he redshirt red, yeah, his freshman year? year? Yeah. Okay, so, so I thought he was done. So no, he's, no, he's got another year. Awesome. He just announced that the other day too. I think the same day Marcellus talked, or said that. Yeah, I, you know, I look at that and I saw what Tristan went through. So, I mean, that, it's, a, it's a process. It's. Not something that's a guarantee, you know, but I think they'll do a good job. Had a great year at UMass this year. Um, actually got to go down to Auburn and watch him during that game. So, um, you know, you always you always wonder. He he had a full ride at Saginaw Valley State and uh, did well there, all-conference player there, and then um, got put or went in the portal and ended up, uh, I think he played almost every offensive snap was uh, graded out highest offensive lineman for UMass this year. So um, it's got a farewell, though, going into these interviews and everything. I think it's a good process. Uh, oh. Talking with his mom, he's actually going to do a showcase. Uh, so they got the date on that. All-American sure. oh. independent, right? That was the – was that the, the post? Um, the College Gridiron Showcase. You know, that will be coming up here, so – First team, all independent offense. Marcellus was on. Some good company there. Oh, yeah. Sam Hartman and lots of Chris Tyree. He's actually going to play, though, in like a showcase game, an all-star game. I was looking up teams today that needed offensive tackles. And there was like four options. The, he, the Bills, the Chiefs, the Colts, and the Bears. <laughs> he actually played guard, though. Right. Did he win the, was the, listed as a tackle or was it a guard? A guard. Oh, he was listed as a guard. Yeah, he, he played guard. He was the left guard. Tristan was a tackle. Yes, Tristan okay. was a left tackle. That's going to do it. John R. Nelson, Jim Mazur. 46-19. And a uh, Cavaliers looking to bounce back tomorrow night. Be in action at uh, Supping Career Academy. That'll be an away game. RTC will not be following them.